On March 30, 1981, a would-be assassin fired six shots at President Ronald Reagan outside the Washington Hilton Hotel, two miles from the White House. Washington Post reporter Del Wilbur, author of Rawhide Down, The Near Assassination of Ronald Reagan, met us on the sidewalk where the shooting took place to tell his story of that day. John Hinckley, a deranged, troubled 25-year-old from Evergreen, Colorado, who's obsessed with Jodie Foster, we all know, infamously obsessed with Jodie Foster. And he's waiting right over there behind a rope line about 15 feet past where the open door is for the limousine. He has a 22 caliber gun in his pocket. Um, it's, it's loaded with devastator bullets, which are tipped with lead azide. Um, and lead azide is an explosive, a high explosive, so they blow up when they hit things. And so he's sitting there waiting, waiting, waiting. Reagan comes out, Hinckley can't believe he's this close. He's 15 feet from the president. The agents are surrounding him. There are three cops at the rope line, another agent right there. Hinckley pulls out his gun and he envisions himself dying in a burst of gunfire, the, you know, suicide by cop, suicide by secret service agent. And he starts shooting. There's a wealth of documentary material from this day that explains what happened. There's a lot of video, three network shot video of it. There's still photographs, and the best, there are two groups of really great still photographs. One was taken by Ron Edmonds, a White House photographer for AP. It was his fourth day as the White House photographer for AP, and he was around here somewhere. He shoots over the limousine and has the, the, the great shots of Parr throwing Reagan into the car. Then you have the White House photographer who's trailing Reagan in this area, and he's shooting pictures that way. And by doing, using those two pictures, you gotta get a sense of what's happened. You watch the video, but it's still all two-dimensional. In the FBI reports that I dug up in this, there are some great diagrams that kind of map out where everything is, and I, you know, they laid it out with tape, you know, measurements and stuff. That was very helpful. Um, and I've come here a few times, but coming here is kind of difficult because if you notice, this thing obviously wasn't here that day. This they built after to protect the president. And then you have um, the little uh, gardening area is new. And I'm told they put that in actually to keep spectators away from the wall where Hinckley was. And the sidewalk is shorter. They've measured it, and Reagan was 15 feet from Hinckley when the shots were fired. But if you go to a basketball court, any basketball court in the country, and you get on the free throw line and you look at it, you're, um, you know, it's just the distance of a free throw. That's how close he was. 